Hello and welcome back to another episode of Optic Street Debates. I'm Masha. Hello, I'm Andrash. Today we'll talk about the differences between two categories of binoculars. Full size versus compact binoculars. We already have some buying guides on these topics. Uh, you can check them out. We'll leave the link in the description below. So Andrash, what defines full size binoculars and what defines compact binoculars? If we take a look at them side by side, so we have a full size binocular, we have a compact binocular here. The size and weight are the most noticeable at first sight. So mm -hmm. you can see that there is basically in general about 20% of difference in, in length and 20% mm -hmm. of difference in size. So these are of course bigger and longer. And that is all because of the lens size. So uh, here in Optic Straight, we categorize binoculars this way. Uh, some uh, other um, sources might say otherwise, but we categorize compact binoculars as having a lens with a diameter of 28 to 36 millimeters, so we're somewhere in there. And we categorize full size binocular as having lens diameter around 40 millimeters. 42 millimeters is the most common value. What about the exit pupil? So exit pupil with full size binoculars is 5.5 uh, and with compact it's 4, making full size binoculars better to use in low light because of the bigger exit pupil, um, where compact binoculars are not that suitable for uh, uses in low light. Then we have mag magnifications. Um, we have similar magnifications in both categories, 8, 10 times the most common ones, we also have 7 times, 12 times, and 15, and... Yeah, we have others, others. that are rarer. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to point out that the exit pupil, of course, uh, depends on whether it's 8x32 yeah, or 8x42. You just uh, said for 8x32 and 8x42, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, in general, so we can conclude that the full-size binocular have a bigger, bigger exit pupil. Yeah. Uh, as regards the materials, this is all up to the price class, so the materials used in both of these um, categories are the same, but it depends on the price. If we have a, a cheap binocular, it is often made of plastic, then we have aluminum as we go up, and topmost binoculars are made of magnesium. The bridge design is mostly single bridge, but we have some exceptions, so we have open bridge designs. These are mostly find, found in, uh, in the full size category also in the compact, but they're rare here. And uh, they're usually limited to the higher price mm -hmm. classes. So we can find uh, open bridge configurations in premium uh, price class of both of these categories. Um, so talking about the prisms, uh, in both of these categories, we mainly have schmidt Packen roof prisms. We have some exceptions in both um, with uh, Poro prisms, I think Swarovski produces the compact Poro uh, prism. That's right, Habicht uh, 8x30. Yeah. yeah. And we also have Abekenic group prisms in full size. I don't know if we have any in compact. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, and that is because these are often designed for uh, use in twilight yes, as well, yes. whereas these were ones are limited to use during the day and Abekenic provide a higher light transmission rate. Yeah. Um, eye relief, it's... Um, longer on full-size binoculars, making them more comfortable to use. This also depends on the, on the design of eye cups with each model. So, yeah. so um, eye relief with um, compact binoculars is much shorter, making them not so suitable for those who wear glasses. That's right. As uh, concerns price, if we have a binocular in the same series, so the same manufacturer, and we have in the series a compact and a full-size binocular, there is usually, at, I would say, 10 to 15% of price difference. Uh, so the full-size binoculars are more expensive. What about the field of use? So full-size binoculars are basically universal binoculars. When hunting, we generally uh, recommend using full-size because of the uh, use in low-light situations. We do have some exceptions with mountain hunting. We recommend more uh, compact binoculars. That's right, because of the size and yeah. because the exit pupil is of little to no importance in mountain hunting, which is done during the day, Yeah, mostly. Um, with bird watching, we, uh, you either can choose uh, full-size binoculars or compact binoculars. It uh, depends on your preparation. 
um, maybe viewing is more comfortable with full size binoculars, but with compact you get uh, small size, small weight, etc. That's right. Uh, with hiking and traveling, we uh, generally recommend more compact binoculars where the size and again, weight also again, matters. And that is basically it, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, leave a like, subscribe, and see you in the next debate. Goodbye. Bye.